So why Cardano versus any other project out there? I mean, I know there's a, a small list of third generation blockchains. Why do I get attached to this one? Why did I pretty much dedicate my YouTube channel to Cardano? Um, and the same can go for Rick and Sebastian. Um, that's a good question. Um, to tell you the truth, what a little bit of what everyone was saying, the scientific and mathematical rigor of this project is incredible. And I know people make fun of this all the time on Twitter and on Reddit and on YouTube about this whole idea of peer reviewed, but it's a serious deal. You know, if you've been to university, if you've been to college and you've written a paper and you've had it peer reviewed or you've submitted a thesis and it doesn't even have to be for math, it can be for any subject, you realize how difficult it is because it's one thing to know information more than the next person. So if there's a cryptographer, he could tell me what cryptography is and I'd have to believe him solely on the fact that he's a cryptographer and he knows more about that subject than me. But to submit a paper to an academic conference, the top conferences in the world, and every idea that you have, you write it into a paper and you get it peer reviewed, that's a whole nother ball game. I mean, the, they're, they're getting their papers reviewed by other people that are pretty much geniuses in the field, regarded as geniuses in the field. They've innovated, they've created new things, um, they've invented things and all their life revolves around figuring out what the best math and the best science is for that particular topic. And I just don't see any other projects going forward. So if you're telling me that you're a third generation blockchain and you're implementing this, this protocol, you're, you're doing proof of stake or you're putting something in your project, I just have to believe you solely because you told me that. I can't verify it, but if someone else is verifying it, who's an expert on that field, that just boosts up the credibility. So I think that's one of the most underrated features of Cardano. And it's a reason why I gravitated towards this project because there are checks and balances in place to protect the entire project's integrity. Um, I, I'm not a coder, my brother's a coder, and it's like he codes and there could be a sloppy line of code in his code. And I'm not sure, I can't tell him it's a sloppy line of code until someone else finds that sloppy line of code. And I feel like Cardano puts processes in place to prevent these kind of things from happening or to limit the amount of glitches that are going to be going on within the system. And at the end of the day, we're playing with people's money here. I mean, people are investing a large amount of their net worth into this project. Um, whether it's good financial advice or not, we all know that people are putting more than they're willing to lose into projects. And we know that people are going to want to, in, if, if it accomplishes what it's supposed to accomplish, people are gonna to wanna to live with inside the ecosystem, which means that a large portion of people's net worth is going to be in this system. So do you want to be in a system that wasn't peer reviewed or wasn't audited a thousand times or wasn't looked at by the experts in the field? Or do you just wanna say, oh, this person said so, so it is. And I, I, I truly believe that Cardano, when I looked at Cardano, it's really one of a kind in the field. I mean, all these other crypto projects, they focus on different use cases, but within the space of smart contracts, within this particular third generation blockchain and comparing with Ethereum, which is second generation, it stands leagues apart because of the, the rigor that is attached to this project. And I think that this is why I gravitated to with this project and this is why I'll continue to follow this project and I really see myself within this ecosystem.